We have a motion to dispense with the reading of the warrant. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous in the main hall for the gymnasium. Mr. Norton. All those in favor? All those opposed? Unanimous, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Norton. For the cafeteria, Mr. Wicks. All those in favor? Opposed? Unanimous, Mr. Moderator. Thank you, Mr. Wicks. For the main motion, Mr. Delaney. Mr. Moderator, Article 1, High School Slash Middle School Project. I move the town vote to appropriate the sum of $107,728,000 for the purpose of paying cost of an addition and renovation of the middle school and construction of a new high school to create a new integrated middle-high school located at Park Street and Sherman Road, including payment of all costs incidental or related thereto, in parentheses, the project, which school facility shall have an anticipated useful life as an educational facility for the instruction of school children for at least 50 years, in fall which the town may be eligible for a school construction grant from the Massachusetts School Building Authority, in parentheses, MSBA, set amount to be expended under the direction of the Secondary Schools Building Committee to meet this appropriation. The Treasurer, with the approval of the Board of Selectmen, is authorized to borrow set amount under Chapter 44 of General Laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority. The town acknowledges the MSBA's grant program is a non-entitled discretionary program based on need as determined by the MSBA. And any project cost the town incurs in excess of any grant approved and received from the MSBA shall be the sole responsibility of the town. Provided further that any grant that the town may receive from the MSBA for the project shall not exceed the lesser of one, 51.49% of eligible approved project costs as determined by the MSBA or two, the total maximum grant amount determined by the MSBA. Provided further that any appropriation hereunder shall be subject to and contingent upon an affirmative vote of the town to exempt the amounts required for the payment of principal and interest on said borrowing from the limitations of total taxes imposed by Chapter 59 Section 21C of the general laws, in parentheses, Proposition 2 and a half, in that the amount of borrowing authorized pursuant to this vote shall be reduced by any grant amount set forth in the project funding agreement that may be executed between the town and the MSBA. And we have the motion. Oh, oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I really, really want to. <laughs> There's a Nissan Maxima on Dodge Road. License 87G, as in George. A as in Apple, 13. It's going to be towed if it's not moved. 87G, A, 13. It's on Dodge Road. The Secondary School Building Committee would like to take leave of the meeting for purposes of a presentation. Um, they would like a leave of 40 minutes. They promised to try to make it even less than that. Um, but this is a big project and there are a lot of facets to it. All those in favor of a 40 minute leave to the meeting in the main hall, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries in the main hall. 
Mr. Norton, all those in favor of a 40 minute leave of the meeting. In favor, please say aye. All those opposed. I am not sure, Mr. Moderator, I'm gonna to have to go to a hand count unless I can get a unanimous or a near unanimous on this. Again, I'll ask for one more verbal. All those in favor? All those opposed? I have a question, Mr. Moderator. I'm going to have to go to a hand count. Okay, simple majority. While, while you're, oh, okay. Would my tellers please go to work? <laughs> please raise your hand. And since they're counting, guess what? So do we. And Mr. Wicks, you need to count as well. All those in favor in all three facilities. All those in favor of a 40-minute leave, please raise your hands. Would my tellers please step forward and count?
Mr. Moderator? Yeah, if I could have quiet in the main hall, please. Okay, your total in the gym is 323 in favor, 102 opposed. 323? Three, 323 three. Three, three in favor. 102 opposed. Okay. Motion carries in all three facilities 697 to 177. So, Mr. Venezia, who is chairman of the North Reading School Committee, as well as on the Secondary School Building Committee, will begin the presentation. And he's promised me he's going to try to move it along. Mr. Jerry, just one quick thing. Mr. Norton, uh, would you please, you've got a center section and you've got a right and a left. If you would appoint a third teller, and when we come back online after the presentation, let me know who that third teller is, and that would maybe make the gym, gymnasium count go a little bit quicker. We'll do that, Mr. Moderator. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Venezia, the floor is yours for 40 minutes or less. <laughs> I, I get the message loud and clear. Uh, good evening on this beautiful first day of summer. Uh, my name is Jared Rents, I'm chairman of the school committee, as Mr. Murphy's already stated. And on behalf of the school committee, the board of select and the finance committee, the community planning commission, and especially the secondary school buildings committee, I want to welcome all of you here tonight. It's great to see such a lot of large turnout. The purpose of tonight's meeting is for us to present to you your consideration our plans to build a new North Reading High School with new core facilities that will be shared by a fully renovated middle school. Joining me at the presentation, I told them all, we gotta move this, we're gonna go a little bit faster because everyone's been sitting here for a while. But joining me tonight will be Superintendent of Schools, Kathleen Willis, who will speak about providing a 21st century education for our children. High School Principal John Bernard and Middle School Principal Catherine O'Connell will speak to you about the design of the new high school and middle school. The Secondary School Building Committee member, Jack Papora, who's going to talk about the green design of the new schools. Vice Chairman of the Finance Committee, Don Kelleher, who's going to talk about the cost of the project, the financing of the project, and the impact that's going to have on our tax rate. And finally, Vice Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Sean Delaney, who's going to speak about 